chemistry side, the product development side, and just fell in love with it and uh, didn't realize that I could really make a career out of it. But uh, was given an, an amazing opportunity to work with uh, Organic Root Stimulator, and from there it was just it was natural for me. And I think. Finding a, like I'm a very creative person, but I'm very analytical at the same time, and so it's very hard to find things where you can exist in both spaces and it'd be okay. So I always felt like I had to do one or the other. I had to. It was either this or that. And you know, I was the type of person in college. You know, I was dancing and doing a lot of creative things, but then it's like I'm this engineering geek at the same time, and it's like how do you? find a place to be all of those things at one time. Um, and that's exactly where cosmetic chemistry, uh, it, it just allowed me to be creative and analytical, science-driven um, type problems at the same time. And being a bridge between marketing and R&D, research and development, was where I found my niche. and. Uh, uh, Gary Gardner, who was the founder of Namaste, that's the name of the company that makes uh, ORS, mm -hmm. and you know, he, he gave me the leeway to to explore my marketing side. So they would actually give me marketing projects, and I named a few things. And I was design, I was doing graphic design on some of them. Some of them, so I'd be in the lab during the day mixing up stuff. Then I might be working on a product label. On, you know, on a Mac, you know, at night, and it allowed me to satisfy both passions.